Hi everybody, Jeff here again. Uh, today we're going to show you how to put um, a better type of shelving system into your your linen closet. And so what we're looking at here is a very small closet. It's 30 inches wide and about 15 inches deep. And so if you're looking for an alternative to using these same old ugly you know, wire shelving and then drilling all those holes on the side of the wall to put the little white brackets in and you know and then mount your shelves you know that's fine but you're limited there uh, at least with this system that we're going to show you today you're flexible because you can adjust the shelves up and down anytime you want you're not stuck with that configuration so uh, the way this works is this is the the closet made uh, shelf track system and it only starts off with your horizontal shelf track that goes along the top and then your standards your vertical standards kind of plug in the top there and they hang like that. And I'll put the other one in over here. So you can kind of see very quickly how you're going to make this uh, work very nicely for you. And then they have these shelf brackets that stick out horizontally here, which your wire shelf will rest on. This is not the same thing as where you used to have the the wire shelf that comes out and then those stupid little wire struts go back and mount on the wall and those always fall out of the wall especially here in florida with the weakened drywall and stuff so let me just show you what it looks like i'll go into this little closet here and see there's the bracket i was telling you about so it's going to look like that and here's a sort of an underside view and it will support the wire shelf and you can adjust them to any height you want All right, so back here in the closet, see these three pieces of blue tape? Those indicate where my studs are. Whenever you have a closet, you're always gonna be guaranteed the corners will have a stud. And since it's 16 inch spacing on studs, there's gonna be one pretty much in the middle of this closet. And that's exactly where this one is. So if you look closely here, you can see I got a white screw right there. That's a cabinet screw that I used because it's got the big head. And this will go right into the wood stud. So right off the bat, I automatically have one that's going in the, into the stud. So this thing will never fall off the wall ever. You know, a lot of the cheapy idiots that, that do the uh, closets for the builders down here, they don't even go into studs or anything. They just stick those stupid plastic anchors into the drywall and uh, they'll root out before you know it and you'll be in a world of trouble. So that's why I, I, don't, uh, I don't even recommend using any of that type of anchors and then for these other two spots see you get the silver screw here and it uses this anchor here because there's no stud there so this is how you anchor into the drywall you use this type of uh, high-end anchor that holds a hundred pounds and you screw the anchor in first and then once you start to put the screw in to the front side here it will force this bracket here to swing out 90 degrees to the wall and as you tighten it, it will suck back and tighten the back of the drywall. It will come right up against the back of it. And so now you'll have basically a uh, two inch wide or two inch long bracket on the back side of the wall that's holding everything snugly. In addition to this one, which is already in, in the stud, and this will not be going anywhere. The left side has the same type of anchor because, again, I didn't have a, um, a stud right over here. So uh, what happens with these shelf tracks, they come in different sizes, like 48 or 24. And so, in, I don't even know if there's a 36, I can't remember, but uh, this is a 30 inch wide closet. And so the only thing that will fit in here is a 24 inch shelf bracket. And so the way uh, Closet May tells you to do it is, that, you know, they don't want you to have your wire shelf overhanging more than like four or five inches from the end of wherever your shelf bracket is going to be. So if you put it right here, you're going to be perfect. And then this one here, I'm going to uh, probably put it right around here and that will make that one perfect. And you can see coming down here, there's going to be one, two, and three screw holes all the way down. This is uh, a longer standard that we're using here. And um, I always go above the minimum, what they ask. They, they tell you to only secure it with one, but I, wherever there's a screw hole, I'll put a, one of these anchors and another screw. And even better if I can line one of these up over a, a stud, but in this case, it just didn't work out that way. So, and we'll do the same thing on this side as well. So it'll go very quickly. It's not a tough job at all.
All right, so as we were preparing for our standards here, here's one of the anchors that I drilled into the wall there. And another one down there, and the third one down there. And so then we'll move our standards right back over them and screw them in. And you always want to make sure, of course, when you're setting where you're going to drill the holes, that your standard is completely vertical first before you do anything. So use your magnetic spirit level there and make sure that you're completely vertical. And then we'll do the same thing with the right side too. Okay, so now both of our standards are installed. Everything's screwed in here. So we have three screws going down this side and three screws going down the other side. The whole thing is rock solid into the wall. It's not coming down. So now we can put our shelf brackets on. Now here we've completed that next step. We've got our shelves in for the wire racks. And so we're going to install those now. And continuing on, we have the first and second shelves in now. And so the way these work is uh, the bracket fits through any one of these holes here. And we made it, we sized it so that it, it comes right up to the wall here with the caps on it on both ends. So if you look back over here to the other side, you'll see it's the same thing. You just put those rubber caps on there and that way it's nice and tight and sturdy in there. And the way these latch on the back end, you can see these, the wire shelf goes up and over and behind this hook and then you just pull it back and you'll feel it click. It just goes click. And same with the other side here as well. All right, so we've got the third shelf in there. And pretty much one more to go and we're all done. You can see it wasn't that bad at all. And the, the beauty of this system is it's so versatile that you can change the, the heights of any of these shelves and even bring one all the way down on the floor if you want one. Um, but here you can store like tall items like a suitcase. And even here, which is really cool, uh, usually closets give you a low ceiling, but this one gave a tall ceiling way up there to match the height of the rest of the house. So you can put a suitcase at an angle like this and then stick it up vertically and store it up here on this upper shelf here and since it's only it's a 15 inch wide uh, deep this is 15 inch deep closet the shelves are only 12 inches that gives you a little room if you want to stick like a broom or something in here too so uh, that's it on the install for this little linen closet here so I hope you found this video useful and as usual, please like us down below, give us positive feedback, and subscribe to our channel for more videos for DIY projects around your house. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one.